right. We'll start off with molar masses of a hydrate. Uh, hydrates, again, have water attached to them. So when we find the molar mass of this, we just have to include the eight waters along with the barium with the hydroxide here, all right? Um, so if we do this step by step, we're going to include a barium, which equals 137.33 grams per mole. And we only have one of them, so just leave it like that. The oxygen, note that we have two of them, all right? I know we have more over here, but we'll do the water later, all right? So don't worry about that for now. Uh, again, the best way just is, is to do it, uh, you know, slowly, carefully. So two oxygens there. Each oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole times two, and we're done with oxygen. Note the hydrogen also has two there. So we'll do 1.01 .01 times two. And again, I know there's hydrogen, but that's okay. We'll do that right now. So the hydrate has waters attached. All right, it had those eight waters attached there. All right, each water molecule has two H's, and we have eight of them here. So if we're going to do the H again, let's just do it again. H equals 1.01 .01 grams per mole. 8 times 2, we have 16 atoms of hydrogen. And note we also have the O. That 8 as a coefficient in front of the, uh, the water means we have 8 water, or sorry, not 8 water, 8 oxygen atoms here. So if we do another oxygen, we'll have 16.00 as the molar mass, but this time multiplied by 8. All right. So if we basically add all this up, we'll take 137.33, we'll add it to the oxygens, we'll add it to the hydrogens, and finally, we'll add it to the oxygens and the hydrogens from water. We will end up with 315.51 grams per mole. Uh, if that's cut out, g's per mole over here. And that is how we'll do the molar mass of a hydrate.